Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today I have an all new empties video full of all of my most recent beauty garbage. I'm going to be letting you know my thoughts, some little reviews on a few of these products. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Okay, as always, I will have my empties and declutter playlist linked in the description box if you want to watch any more videos like these. But let's start off with some makeup products. So first of all, I finished off my Becca First Light Priming Filter. This was in my project pan and I worked very diligently to finish this off. I did have a backup of it, so I'm already good to go. This is one of my all-time favorite primers. The formula is very hydrating without being heavy. It's slightly smoothing and with the purple color, it's supposed to help with dullness. I don't notice a difference with that too, too much, but I have had a lot of subscribers tell me that you feel like the purple is very helpful to you. This is a great hydrating product in like the dry months of the year and it has a very refreshing like almost citrusy scent to it so I really enjoy this primer. I'm very glad that I have a backup of it because I love it. I also finished up a brow pencil. This is from Wet n Wild and it makes me very sad that they're no longer cruelty free because I otherwise would have 100% repurchased this brow pencil. I really did like it. It is their micro brow pencil. I actually kind of picked this up on a whim because I just ran out of my brow pencil. I needed to find something else. I did really enjoy the formula of this. I'm disappointed that Wen Wild is no longer cruelty free. I've talked about this in other videos and on Instagram, so I'm not going to go too in depth about it, but I actually have a brow pencil from e.l.f. coming and I think it should be here any day now and I think by the time this video goes live hopefully that will have arrived and hopefully I will love it just as much as I loved this one. I also finished a mascara. This is the Koki Volume and Length Mascara and I definitely would repurchase this. I really enjoy this. I feel like it's very effective at both volumizing and lengthening just like the name would imply. It's a bit of a drier formula and it has a natural bristle wand which is actually very very long so depending on your eye shape and your preference, you may or may not like that, but even though I have small eyes, I don't mind how long the wand is because it's not too fat. Like sometimes with very fat wands, I feel like I can't really get too close to the root. This is still like not a huge wand. It's just kind of a long one, but I really enjoy this. Would definitely recommend it if you're looking for a drugstore mascara. Okay, kind of makeup, kind of skincare. This will be our little transition into the next segment of this video. This is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray, the lavender one, the chamomile and lavender one. Again, a project pan item. I started, here I am giving you like project pan lingo. I started up here, but really, when we started the project pan, I was way up here and I was able to finish this whole thing up within the last couple of months. I would repurchase this. I already have two of the orange ones just sitting in my drawer. And okay, when I say I would repurchase this, I would repurchase the Mario Badescu Facial Sprays because I'm obsessed with them but I don't know that I would get the lavender one again. It was okay, and I didn't dislike it, but it's just not my favorite scent. I kind of, really my true favorite is the original rose, but I also like orange, and I need to try cucumber. Also in skin, I used up this bottle of rosehip oil. Rosehip oil used to be a, such an essential in my skincare routine, and I don't use rosehip oil as much anymore, but it was actually mostly my boyfriend that used this up. We kind of used it together, but I would say that he used more of it than I did. And I maybe would repurchase this again. I do really like rosehip oil as a, a, a moisturizer, and I feel like it was really good for me. When I started using it, I had a lot of scarring on my cheeks, like acne scarring, and I feel like it did a really good job of fading them. It takes time, but I do really enjoy rosehip oil and the skincare benefits of it. But these days, I'm just kind of loving some other oils, so I would repurchase this, but I don't feel like I need to right this second. All right, a product from Drunk Elephant. This is their Proteiny Peptide Cream. The packaging is so heavy, it seriously feels like it's still full, but there's nothing left in it. And I think that's because they do that like airtight thing, so you can't really get anything out. But I liked this. It's a good moisturizer, and I know so many people that this is their holy grail, and it does wonders for them. So you might love it, but personally, I didn't feel like it did anything different from my other moisturizers. Don't get me wrong. I liked it, and when I woke up in the morning, I was like, yeah, my skin looks nice, but it didn't blow my socks off enough for me to justify repurchasing it at the price. So right now, I'm using the First Aid Beauty 
Ultra Repair Cream. Derek and I are both using that and we both really like that. Actually, he keeps saying to me, he's said to me like so many times, like my skin looks so good because of this moisturizer. So I think I'm gonna stick with that one for now, but this one is not bad, but I can't justify the price. Moving into hair, I have a conditioner. This is from Kenra, it's their brightening conditioner. Now, I wouldn't repurchase this one, the brightening conditioner, but the Kenra, I think it's called the hydrating conditioner, I highly recommend, it's fantastic. This one is just okay. So this is a purple conditioner, so it's supposed to help with brassiness in your hair. Keep in mind a conditioner, a purple shampoo, purple mask, like they will all help, but they're not miracle products. So like the main thing is you wanna be toning your hair, but this will kind of help in between. And honestly, I don't feel like the purple factor of this does a ton because it's more of a soft lilac. And for me, what I noticed does more of a difference for my hair is that intense violet color. And they have a toning mask that's also in this line that is that dark violet. And I find that to be way more effective than this. And this, I don't find to be hydrating enough as a conditioner for me to repurchase. So even if it did work for like the purple aspect of it, it's just not intense enough where their traditional regular conditioner is amazing and leaves my hair smooth as can be. So I would repurchase the other one, but not this one. Okay, another product from Kenra. This is probably one of the only products from Kenra that I've been like very disappointed with. That shampoo I wouldn't repurchase, but it was like, or that conditioner, it was okay. This, I wanted to love this. So this is their Dry Volume Burst Instant Soft Hold Volumizing Spray. Now you've heard me say many times that the Kenra Volume Hairspray is my holy grail. It's the best hairspray I've ever found. I didn't even like hairspray until I found that one and now I'm kind of, I'm, I'm testing out others. I like others, but that one is the best in my opinion. This, I feel like, does not do what it says. So first of all, they call it a soft hold. No, this is the most firm hold product that I have ever found. Like. Even today, I, there's like really nothing left, but if you like spray it for long enough, a little bit will come out. So I was like, we'll just try and get the last little bits of it today. And I was spraying it at my roots because it says right here, spray roots for nine times the volume. And this product, not only is it very firm hold, but it makes my hair not only very gritty, but it makes my hair like tangled together. And I feel like whenever I use this, my hair is so snarled. And my hair is naturally just very fine. Like I have a lot of strands. I have a ton of hair, but the, fine, the strands themselves are very fine. So I'm already very prone to tangles and snarls. And when I use this, it, there's just no, there's no saving it. So I would not repurchase this. I really wouldn't recommend this either. I mean, okay, let me, let me clarify. I wouldn't recommend it for what it's intended for. Maybe if you have like a shorter haircut, you might like it. Cause I know my boyfriend would use this and he really liked it to get like a textured hold. So if that's what you're going for, yes. But if you have long, beautiful curls, this is just gonna make them feel disgusting. And finally, another project pan item. This is my Briogeo Blow Dry Perfection Cream. Now, I don't blow dry my hair, so I mostly am using this after I get out of the shower, just in my wet hair to kind of act as a leave-in conditioner, or sometimes before I heat style for protection. It does also, it says that it's a heat protectant up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, or 425. And I did like this. I love the smell of it. It makes my hair feel smooth and nice. It's nice on wet hair. But because I don't blow dry my hair, it would be very silly for me to repurchase this. So I'm not really using it for its intended use. I have other heat protectants I can use. I was just trying to finish it up because it's a product that I got in a BoxyCharm years and years and years ago. I don't even get BoxyCharm anymore, so that's how long ago it was, but it was okay. But that's gonna go ahead and complete this empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing those reviews and that this was helpful. Again, I will have my playlist linked in the description box if you wanna check it out, but I'll go ahead and see you guys in my next one. Bye.